Hey guys, this is Captain from Recording for Duty, and if you're looking to be doing podcasting or any kind of audio work, making videos, whatever it may be, you might be looking for a microphone that's on a good budget. So if you're looking for something that might do you well for a good price, for well under $100, and it supposedly competes really well with other mics in that $99 range, this might just be the product for you. So I hope you sit back, relax, and check it out. We're gonna open this. We're gonna open this box up. It looks like it's packaged really well here. Sturdy. I like the thickness there. Okay, here we go. It's got some information in here. Look at that. Got a nice instruction manual included. Here we go. It's gonna have the contents. Um, all kind of hookup information. Good look there. It's gonna have the polar pattern information right all on here too. It's gonna to have all the information about the contents of this thing, as well as what all the switches do. Uh, hookups because this is USB or uh, XLR so that's a nice nice way of doing it. It even shows you how to handle the microphone. Wow okay well we're going to go through this part pretty quick here. A uh, little card here it's going to have here's your XLR cable it's going to come with that and actually it looks like it's got a pretty good pretty good length to this XLR cable and uh, you know one thing I like to always check on is what the quality of the XLR are it's not a super high-end XLR cable. Well, yeah, this has got some good distance here. I'd say maybe I'm, I'm really guessing here 10 foot, uh, but it's a decent quality cable here uh, so for your XLR. All right, has this bar here. It's gonna be for holding on the pop filter. This is gonna be a stand here. Part of the stand's gonna screw down in there, which is probably at the bottom. Here in this box, I'm gonna move those to the side real quick here. Uh, this is gonna be the microphone itself. It's packaged in there real nice. And you see here, it's actually, it's got some good weight to it. It feels sturdy. So that's always a good sign, you know, when they feel cheap, it's never good. It's got an on off switch right here. It's got a plus and minus for volume output. Cause look, it's gonna be XLR. And it's gonna have your USB connection here as well as your headphone connections. Cause you can run this USB or XLR and you can use it to monitor your sound audio right through there, through the mic itself. We're gonna move this here out of the way. And here we have the USB cable that, that it's going to come with. And once again, it's got some pretty, pretty good cable quality here. I like that. That's always a good sign here. So we're going to have a USB cable right here. Pretty good length, it looks like, too. So that's always a good sign. This is going to be how you connect your mic. And it's your shock mount here. It's got this shock mount that's going to, going to help keep it from bouncing around and causing problems. I'm gonna hook it all up in just a second too and show you that as well. And here's gonna be our pop filter right here too in this package here. So let's put it all together and we'll talk about it. All right guys, as you see here, I have it set up. I'm gonna go through now and hook it up and have you guys see how easy it is to connect it to the computer, to get it working, or does it take a lot of finagling? Let's check it out and find out together. So the next thing I wanna do is I wanna make sure that it works and connects well with the USB. Now, I just wanna mention this uses a USB-C, which is great. So they're keeping up and with the times here. So I'm gonna plug that in and I'm gonna plug it in to my computer right up here. I'm gonna see if it detects really easy or if we have any potential issues. All right, here, look at that setting up device. It says right away there in the corner. That's a very, very good sign. All right, so it did pick up right away the uh, sound device here. I went in and I just made sure there it's going to be headphones, USB XLR dynamic microphone. And I'm going to use uh, this. I'm using uh, Sony Movie Studio uh, 17, Movie Studio Platinum here. And as you can see here, it's registering right, right here on there. I'm going to just, uh, I had to select it in the options as well, just like you do with any kind of audio input. Uh, when you're using this kind of software and it picked up right away. So I'm gonna hit that and hit record there and there we go A B C D E F G So now we know it does that I'm gonna try the uh, XLR make sure it works well with the XLR and then we're gonna do some sound tests with it to see how well it actually sounds All right now I this time hooked up the XLR 
and I'm running it through my Focusrite Sapphire. Um, so, and I have here, you can already see it's picking it up. You do have to, once again, adjust it based on whatever software you're using to pick up that microphone. But I hit uh, record here and I should already have a wave there. As you see there, it's picking up right on the bar. That's always a good sign, so I'm gonna stop it. So the next thing I'm gonna do is now I know it works well with XLR easily as well as USB-C. We're going to actually do a sound test where I can compare this to a couple other microphones. All right, guys, the next thing I wanted to do is make sure that you know how well the audio sounds on here. So right now I am using I MXL 2003 microphone ran through a Focusrite Sapphire and I'm going to do this so I can compare this microphone that we're wanting to review today with the other microphones here large diaphragm condenser and uh, so this is what it sounds like right here I'm also showing it on the screen so you can see how it's showing up on the level meter I am about I'd say eight inches from the mic with a pop filter so once again this is how an MXL 2003 sounds now next I'm going to be switching to a different microphone so you can hear how it compares all right now I am testing the microphone here that we're reviewing I'm gonna tap on here so that way you can see it that way you can see how high it is as you see the outputs not quite as high but that's not unusual when you're using a mic with phantom power whereas this one isn't so it's gonna have an output a little lower also you're hearing some noise that noise you're hearing is actually my computer you can easily key that out with a little audio editing not hard at all what I always tell people, like to do is uh, I like to record maybe 10 seconds with just the computer noise and I'll make sure I remove that with my software and that makes it nice and clean so once again this is the microphone we're actually reviewing now I'm going to compare it to another one here I'm going to pull out another dynamic microphone uh, that that way it compares really evenly this so you see how it compares to large diaphragm condensers that require phantom power let's compare it to uh, audio staple in the industry that's used on all kinds of things on desktops for speaking for speeches all kinds of stuff and that's a sure SM 57 all right guys now this microphone you're hearing right now I'm actually using the same microphone cable I'm running it through the same breakout box everything is the same except I switched to an SM 57 an industry standard once again I'm gonna click here so you can actually see the uh, how it's picking up here right now I have it set zero with no EQ nothing special nothing at all you're hearing the SM57 so once again now you can hear this SM57 compared directly to the Milano the microphone that we are reviewing here and hear the quality all right just so you guys have another particular example this is how it sounds with the Blue Yeti USB microphone. Once again, this is the Blue Yeti USB microphone because I wanted to make sure you got to hear how it compares as well. One USB microphone compared to another. All right, guys, this is the Miano, but this time I am recording the audio with the USB-C because, yeah, you can get a different sound on a lot of mics that are both USB-C or XLR, as well as there's comparable differences. Sometimes people say, hey, if you want it to sound really good, you got to use XLR. And I agree somewhat, but actually there's a lot of absolutely wonderful USB microphones out here. Like this one, for example. I think, as you hear it right now, it's quite good. It sounds good. I'm using the USB-C. Once again, this is with the USB-C. So this way you get both chances to check and see which one works best for you with the AU HD 300T Moano Cardio A Dynamic USB XLR microphone. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. This is the USB XLR Cardio A Dynamic Microphone Moano Metal Professional Zero Latency Monitoring Mic. You can get this on Amazon right now for around $59.99. Now, that's pretty darn good considering the microphones it compares to are usually around $100 microphones. Very sturdy. You get a nice, on top of that, just with the microphone, you do get a nice cable, a good USB-C cable, a good XLR cable. This one is also ready for a headset to be used, which is always a nice touch right through there. So in case 
case you don't have a breakout box and you're using it plugged directly into the USB, you can get a high quality sound that way as well. So you get the good quality stand. As I said, some parts aren't plastic, but I'm telling you, it's pretty weighty. I think it's going to hold up pretty good. My only one little tiny quirk is I wasn't a big fan of the pop filter setup here, but otherwise it's pretty good. Also, I just here's another picture of the microphone I wanted to show you guys. As you see here, studio quality XLR, volume control, zero latency on this. It's a pretty mic. You got to give it credit for that. Also, as you see here, it's a very simple, easy to use volume up, volume down with your headphones on as well as an on and off switch. It doesn't get a whole lot easier than this. It's a great, easy way to get started with real-time monitoring. I didn't really notice any latency. As you see here too, it's a cardioid polar pattern so you'll see how it picks up and it rejects sound in the back this is good too for example if you have a computer like i do it's pretty powerful with eight fans in it and it generates a lot of noise you can turn the microphone facing you away from the computer and gets rid of a lot of that noise so you might not have to turn around and get a noise shield uh, as i mentioned earlier one of the ways i deal with it is i just record the computer noise and then i use that as a base rate to know what to filter out very easy to use so there you guys have it for a $59.99 price point. I really don't think you can go wrong if you're starting and looking in the doing podcasting or whatever it may be, some videos online. This is a pretty good starter kit. It's going to give you the mount, the shock mount, the pop filter, and the microphone all in one. That's a pretty darn good deal. Well, guys, thank you. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you don't mind, be sure to hit like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And if you find yourself in a position, if you don't mind, you can help us out on Patreon and subscribe, Star. If you haven't noticed, these people right here are absolutely wonderful. If without these people, this channel would not be possible. Their contributions help me because I run this channel completely ad-free on YouTube, so I don't get any particular pushback or have to worry about anything that way. I don't have to worry about the monetization, but I do need support to be able to continue the channel and these people I consider producers and have been helping greatly. Thank you. And until next time, keep it frugal.